In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Good YouTube, all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, Mr. Damn, all everything, the sexiest hell bearded one. And we're in here talking Avengers Endgame trailer. We're doing more breakdown. I got my brother from yep. another. Y'all haven't seen him in a while, but this is my homie James. He's got some hot takes that y'all ain't heard about. James. This was an early Christmas gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I truly feel that way. Like, you know, they could. Here's the thing about this trailer. 90 something percent, we'll say like 93, 94 percent of the people who are going to see this movie already want to see this movie. If they had done no trailers whatsoever, the same amount of people would probably go see it. Right. If you saw the first one, you're going to go see the second one. Now, there, there is a lot of people that saw the trailer. Some people felt like they gave us too much. And I'm sitting up here saying bad words in my mind like they gave us too much. We didn't see anything. There was was there even any action in this trailer? Like the first Avengers trailers, like all the other Avenger movies trailers, it was all action. This one didn't feel the need to show us any of the action. I, I feel as though they done that because the way the last movie ended was dark. The yeah. heroes got defeated. Oh, absolutely. The the antagonist won. And I love that clip they keep showing where Thanos has his suit staked up like a scarecrow. Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, to me, that just exemplifies Thanos saying, I completed my mission. It's time to let my hair down, let my purple nutsack chin down, and just relax. Yep. So I think, Job is done. I think Marvel is just teasing us with this one just simply because they want us to have a dark, gritty, emotional stance from these trailers. Well, and, but, uh, you know, imagine things, like, we don't, certain things we don't know yet. Obviously, Hawkeye survived. Maybe his family didn't. Mm -hmm. He could steal this whole, I mean, the whole movie, whole storyline. He might steal the show because imagine his anger at he lost his family, right. but he survived. That's right. We That's could right. see whole new things come out of his character. Like that, he was only in the in the trailer for a couple seconds, but that seemed to have had as much meaning as anything else we saw. So as we're going through these things, leave us comments. What was the most surprising part of the trailer to you? And you jump from the very beginning of the trailer all the way to almost the end and talking about Hawkeye. Yeah. We have to assume that his family died in the snapshot. Yeah. I'm also assuming one or the other one. Either they had to go through the quantum realm to get to him in a different time because they're, they're obviously portraying him as Ronan, the darker character mm -hmm. of Hawkeye. Yeah. We just got finished seeing him slice somebody's head off. Right. You know, he, and, does, he doesn't have his bows and arrows. What would cause him to go to a place that dark, to be that heinous, other than losing his whole entire family? That's got to be it. And I mean, I think that could be one of the storylines people are really going to connect to, you know? So, so some of you guys seen a video I did um, just the other day from my breakdown of the trailer. James, you didn't see this part. In that, in that video, I figured out what ship Tony Stark and Gamora's sister are riding in. I was wondering about that. That's the Milano. Really? That's the Milano. All right. Now, the thing is, they did it in a manner where we couldn't see Stark and um, Gamora's sister together. But we know that they were the only two that survived the snapture on Titan. Mm -hmm. So, going back to Iron Man... How do you think he's going to get out of space? You know, a few possibilities. My number one thought, the character we didn't see at all in this trailer, and I'm going to get to why we should have in a minute, <laughs> Captain Marvel, because we know she travels through space. A um, lot of people agree with you. Comments I read there. Where's Captain Marvel? Captain Marvel. Um, you know, we have all these other characters that do travel through space. Rocket Raccoon. I don't know why, but... Is he going to try to abandon Earth, abandon everybody else, and happens to come across them? A couple so, possibilities. So that's a loophole that they didn't cover. We yeah. didn't see Rocket Raccoon, but we know he survived the snapture mm -hmm. on Wakanda with Thor, with Captain America, with Black Widow. He mm -hmm. survived. 
They didn't even show him. Why do you think they hid his character from this trailer? Now, mind you, Marvel, I know y'all are trying to give us a teaser. I get that. And y'all sprinkled in what y'all wanted us to see, but we don't like being teased in NC. So you see this black pepper hat? I will throw this in the garbage. I spent good money to get it. Stop teasing us. Um, geez, other possibilities. Thor, obviously. Mm -hmm. Thor is another possibility, but I'm excited to see it. Now, uh, Tony Stark, we know they always, he kind of MacGyvers everything that he touches. Right, right. He might figure this out on his own. It would be a little anticlimactic, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but it wouldn't be unheard of for him to MacGyver something together. I thought about the same thing. Like, think about the very first Iron Man. He got mm -hmm. stuck in that cave. Yeah. He finagled, got it, got his way yep. up out of there. Yeah. So while we're thinking somebody's going to come rescue him, what if he finds some way to finagle the ship? And, and you know, I hope it's not as hokey as Pepper Potts put on puts on her super suit, and somehow it has this magical connection with his Iron Man suit, no and way. it gives him the drive to survive. I could see them going that corner. No, 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 I mean, no, no. But I mean, you already you feel that, don't you? It's going to be something as terrible as you know she puts on her suit, and they're going to connect again somehow through that. If if if, <laughs> if they were to do that. I don't think that they would do that type of shenanigan until the right. end. Okay. They, they've already set the narrative that they want us to know this is going to be a gritty, emotional movie, at least in the beginning. Yes. We're still picking up the pieces, you know? Yeah. Like, I've never, on any of these movies, ever seen Captain America cry right. until this trailer. Right. Um, yeah, I, I, I like that. Now... There's one part of the trailer we haven't talked about yet. Is there anything else you want to cover before we get to the... No, we thing? keep moving. All right, so um, looking at past trailers for all the Marvel movies, one of my favorite was the trailers for um, Captain America Civil War. And one of the best Marvel movies I've ever seen. It really had. was. You know, that so much... It was a satisfying movie. There was yeah. nonstop action... <laughs> Almost a plot that almost made sense. Like it had everything you want from a Marvel movie. <laughs> but do you remember the first trailer? It was amazing. Like they already made you want to see the movie. You saw the action. You saw what the storyline was going to be. Like I got to see this movie. It, it, the trailer, you know, almost at the end, they show the title. And then we see Spider Man. And it's like, this is the oh, movie where we're going to introduce right. Spider-Man. That's right. So even if you were already sold, they put the cherry on top. We're going to have Spider-Man in this one. It's like, i got to see Spider-Man. And then for Avengers Endgame, oh, no. they show us the movie. <laughs> they, they show us the emotional. You know, we already know the action. I know where you're we going. know the emotion. I know where you're going. They show us the title. <laughs> and then Ant-Man gets out of a minivan. <laughs> <laughs> It was Ant Man getting out of a minivan. Now again, like like the best trailer for this movie was the first of it, and, and ninety percent of the people who saw the first Avengers movie are going to go see this one. Most people are already sold on seeing it. You're not trying to like pull in a lot of new audience. You want to keep the old. But Ant Man, <laughs> the Ant Man, and I know he's going to be essential. And I even like the Ant Man. I may be the only person who legitimately enjoyed the first Ant-Man movie. That's like, not true. It was in my top three or four movies for a long time. Oh. Yeah. I no, like I enjoyed much. the first Ant-Man movie for a very long time. Not that much. But Ant-Man. <laughs> I, I, I mean, the way I describe this is it, it's like it's like if a restaurant was advertised, you know, really fancy restaurant, and they say, we're going to have a Thanksgiving dinner. And you think of Thanksgiving, you think of turkey, cranberries, mashed potatoes, all that. But they don't show that. What they're going to show at the end is the glass of water. <laughs> Ant-Man is a glass of water. So you, so, you, 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 and that, you know, you drink water. Like, a glass of water, nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you need a big glass of water. Well, let, let me put it yes. to you like this, because I think I know what Marvel was doing. <laughs> I hope they so, did, too. When, when they start putting this country together, and you have bodies of water yes. you had to get across, you're not going to survive till you get across that body of water. What did they put up? Boats. Bridges. Bridges, yeah. Bridges. Ant-Man is the bridge to how the Avengers are going to win. That's why Marvel's putting so much importance on that character. Like, they devoted basically a whole movie to the quantum realm for us to start understanding it. Because in order for them to defeat Thanos, they're going to have to time travel. They're going to have to jump in that Bifrost. Yep. I'm, I'm predicting that there's going to be some kind of Bifrost, quantum realm jump that they can do 
that'll take them back in time before the events of Affinity War and somehow defeat Thanos. And in order to, you can't yes. have that without Ant-Man. I don't disagree. And that's going to look really cool when they do it. They're probably going to have all these graphics, all these images, probably a vortex in the sky, which... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Marvel, make a movie without a vortex in the sky. That's all I'm asking. Um, Impossible. I know. Uh, so, you know, they're going to have a vortex in the sky. There's going to be color. But in the trailer, <laughs> they showed Ant-Man getting out of a minivan. Y'all and really they didn't even show it in color. It was like a black and white security <laughs> camera. Like, yo! I thought that I thought that made it better. That made it better. But, I mean, who are they trying to sell? I, no, it didn't. <laughs> They, imagine if the trailer oh, had God, ended like... with Captain Marvel or, you know, any other number of... Can, can you know, they, Adam. Can't they give us Captain Marvel late? I mean, she's getting ready to have a movie. And, and her movie will be probably the best build-up to the next Avengers movie. Exactly. Know, that's going to come out exactly. first. Yeah. And, like, that that by itself is probably all they really need to do. If they hadn't put out a single trailer for the that, new Avengers movie, would you still go? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Um... I'm not disagreeing that he's not important and it's going to be really cool and he's going to be essential and we're all going to have whole new respect for him. But what they showed was him out standing outside of a minivan. <laughs> and another thing I think they was doing, that was a nod to the super comic book nerd. Yes. And what role it played in the comic books. I think that's another reason why they went that way. But while you're talking about um, Captain Marvel and the moves they're going to do coming up, what do you think is going to be the post credit scene for Captain Marvel? Now, right before Avengers Infinity War, how do you handle that post credit scene? I, you know, I mean, the natural progression is the post credit scene is it's 10, 20 years later, and she gets a text. Okay. Her beeper buzzes or something. I don't even know where she is, but that, that she gets a text, share her beeper buzzes, something. That, that, that would be the most natural progression. Be, yeah, yeah. And that's how I would introduce her. Now, again, I don't know how this movie's going to end up. Will she even be on Earth? Is she going to be somewhere else? But somehow, the message, she gets the message okay. from what we saw at the end of Infinity War. Okay. So. Any closing points you have about um, where, what the next trailer might be for Avengers? Yeah, um, I think they need to show at least a little action. Again, we've already the first movie had plenty of it, and they need to get across that something emotional happened that we now need to resolve. But show us something happening. We get that it's going to be emotional. We were already emotional at the end of the last one. Show us something, I, I guess, is what I want. So, th this is my take on it. A new superhero. Go on. My, my take on it is, while we're all sitting here thinking Thanos is the antagonist in this movie, I have this huge assumption he's not. I have this huge assumption there's a greater antagonist in which Thanos might have to team up with the Avengers to overcome the Snatcher because not only did he make the Avengers mad, but evil guys out there in the, in the universe that are more powerful than him are hot, too. So, and I think that's why Marvel teased us so much with this trailer, because there is a greater evil than Thanos. And this brings up one last subject that is going to be talked to death until we see the movie. Mm -hmm. Stan Lee. <sighs> I mean, we know he long ago filmed his scenes. Yeah. Is he just going to be a cameo? Or is he? are we going to learn that he was, all his characters were related and he was someone of incredible importance? Not yeah. sure, but what I do know is he's got four more cameos. Captain Marvel, mm -hmm. the Spider-Man movie that's coming out, mm -hmm. um, this next Avengers movie, and then he's got one more cameo. I don't know how they're going to end a week. Because, I, I mean, you know, I'm sure they saw this coming. And I'm sure they filmed them all at once because they knew this is probably our chance to Getting do it. Close, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of one of my last outstanding questions is, how is Stan Lee going to play into this? Is it just going to be a cameo? He was, you know, and I always like the idea that at some point they do a movie where he's the janitor and he picks up Thor's hammer and yeah. he under and I always like the idea yeah. of doing that. Will it just be that? Or will we find out he's the one above all? It'd be great if they do that. And they have the technology to do the one above. Absolutely. So, ladies and gentlemen, as 
the information keeps coming out. Y'all know I'm taking my channel in a different direction from where it used to be. We'll be doing more movie and TV show reviews and we'll follow up. And that's going to do it for this video. Please don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Any parting words? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy holidays. Um, Feliz Navidad. And that's all I'm going to say because I don't want to mess anything up. And until the next sex is hell video, we'll see you.